Uh, so, Coach, we'll start with the standard question. You know, you, you grew up in the Carolinas. You've been in New Mexico for a couple months now. What's it like living in the land of enchantment? What are the, some of the things you've enjoyed the most about being here? Yeah, I grew accustomed to it probably a lot better than I expected. Just being in the southeast my entire life for the most part, the southwest is vastly different. Yeah. Um, but, the you know, first the people. The people here have been unbelievably gracious and welcoming to both myself and my wife. And then things that I like to do, the, the cuisine, the food is excellent. And yeah. certainly the... Have you developed a, a spicy taste? Yeah, of course. I don't think I have a choice. No, you don't. You'll <laughs> starve to death in New Mexico if you don't get a taste for it. But, you know, besides that, then the, the mountains, like just being able to see them every single day, I've, I've really, it's something that, you know, is, is obviously a, a defining characteristic of Albuquerque, but it's just gorgeous. I, now I can't picture, you know, being somewhere else right now. Right, uh, you've with, traveled out a the, couple more times. You know, yeah, without, my that, mountains. without that in the backdrop, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, well, switching over, you know, you worked your entire career to get where you're at right now, and so that's got to be a bit of a surreal feeling, but but what are you experiencing beyond that? You're the head of the ship now, man. You would think that there'd be more time to, you know, really you know, try, try to look at or go into depth about, you know, 15 years as an assistant, like, and right. say, okay, now this is my moment, but... I haven't had any time to like really digest that because right. it's just been so many things that we're trying to put in place. So I think that that'll come after a successful 2019 season. That's at that point I can reflect on it properly. Uh, that being said, I've thoroughly enjoyed being at the helm every single day. It's it's been better than I expected. You mentioned a successful season. What counts as a successful season in 2019? I think that the first thing that is is a success. Excuse me. The first thing that's that going to be a definer for us as a success is that whenever someone comes and watches the game they see the brand of soccer that I envision applied on the field and the ethos of the team the characteristics of the team brought out by the players that are on the field every single game I, I want people to come away and say oh okay that's that's New Mexico United that's the team that we were expecting to see um, so I that's that would be success in itself and then when we talk about more results driven type success is going to be us being a playoff contender. We want to be in the playoffs and we'd love to host a home playoff game in, in year one. Tactically speaking, what can folks and fans expect out of Troy Lassane ball? What's it look like? I, I said this early on, and this is something that I just believe in is that we want to take the initiative and on both sides of the ball. So when we're out of possession, we want to try to take the initiative by pressing high up the field and winning the ball back as quickly as possible and creating chances on goal that way. And then when we're in possession, we want to try to move the opponent around to exploit space and make make the other team work. Um, and again, both those both those objectives are trying to create chances and trying to create goals ultimately and prevent goals. Well, and you really you really strategically kind of explored some things in preseason, right? That the match against El Paso, you were you were focused on something different than you were, say, against the University of Denver or against OKC Energy. Correct. Yeah, we've so we've layered it week by week, and and that's a byproduct of, of preseason one, but then also of being a brand new club. So, you know, for the first week it was more out of possession. How do we press? What does our shape look like whenever we step high up the field and trying to really hammer that in? Week two was a little bit more in possession, what our shape looks like. And that was, that was a rough week, I think. And it was very uncomfortable for most players. Week three, we kind of put both ideas together and started to, again, get a little bit more comfortable with these concepts. And then what a week in Tucson last week. I mean, three games that were all very competitive, some good results, some good goals scored. Um, so, you know, some good, some very positive things going into the first week of the season, I think, for us to build on. Lots of people who are experts with this league or have watched this league for a long time have been uh, have been really paying attention to what you're doing with roster formation. Uh, I believe one of our fans referred to it as a coup uh, when we signed Chris Weehan or mm -hmm. Weehan. So um, just just let me inside your mind a little bit on that. What was what was the sort of sort of process for putting this team together? Yeah, first and foremost, I wanted to have good people associated with what we do every single day. And, and I know that sounds simple, but you have to really, you have to go into some depth and in, in the way that you interview players and the way that you communicate with them in, the, in that initial process. Some, some of that comes from relationships that I had in the past. You know, there's a number of players that I work with in the past that are currently on our team here. Uh, those players that I haven't worked with in the past, I think we did our due diligence to make sure that they were the right fit for New Mexico United. And we wanted humble hardworking, diligent, you know, thoughtful human beings to be a part of what we're doing. And that's our, that's our ethos. That's who we are. Um, 
so being able to lock in, you know, those first five, six, seven guys, I think then allowed us, and because some of those names, Devin Sandoval, David Estrada, Josh Suggs, some of these names, Juan Guzman, have been around the league, it gave us credibility to then go get that, that next crop of six, seven players, the Chris, Chris Weehans of the world, um, Cody Mizell's, you know, so it just was, when you're starting from scratch, it's a lot of work, clearly, but the buy-in from, from the very beginning with this group, again, goes back to them just being good human beings. So they wanted to be a part of this once they found out what we were trying to go for. That's awesome. Um, final question, and it always kind of kind of puts you back on your heels because it just makes you reflect on a lot of time. You've, you've been here a while. Mm. Um, throughout that entire time, from, from us announcing you as the head coach and technical director to those first player signing announcements to interacting with the fans, what surprised you the most? What's, what's been the, the one that really came out of nowhere? Probably the, probably the support from the state. So we, we have this great, we have this great vision of trying to unite the state, but the support has been overwhelming. And I, and I thought that people would support the product because again, I believe in the product and I believe more importantly, probably in the people that are associated with the product. But the support from everyone that I've encountered, they just, they just want to see this thing go and they want to be a part of trying to make it something that, that New Mexico's never had before. And I think that that's been a huge surprise. It's just how overwhelming that's been, overwhelmingly positive that's been. People are excited. They, I, I said early on that I, I really wanted to, I thought New Mexico deserved a winner. And I think that that's what we're gonna deliver on. And I think that that's what people see now. They see that everything we put out, we're trying to be the best. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing to see the support. All right, good luck tonight, coach. Thanks, brother.